another beautiful day here in Miami. It's Sunday, May 3rd, and I'm outside. And I wanna to talk to you this morning about losses. Yesterday, a lot of my friends in seminary, Andrews University had graduations. A friend of mine, Ludim, congratulations. Her daughter graduated from UCF. But, but they were not at a ceremony. It was done either in their homes or in a computer screen virtually. And it just, it hit me. The losses, many of us have lost jobs. Many of us have lost opportunities like graduations. And, and I wanna to talk to you, okay, what do we do during this time of loss? Well, you need to express it. You need to find your feeling. You need to feel it and you need to share it. Because if you don't deal with these losses, with these feelings, they're gonna deal with you. It may come out in depression or, or other things. And so I found this morning, David. David was an expert on expressing his feelings. And it's so appropriate for us today. Psalms 13, he starts off by saying, Oh Lord, how long will you forget me? He's frustrated. He's, he's saying, Lord, I'm in this situation. How long? You're forgetting me. When, forever? He says, how long will you look the other way? How long, Lord? We've been in this, this situation, what, seven, eight weeks now? How long? When are you going to step into this situation? He says in verse 2, How long must I struggle with anguish in my soul, with sorrow in my heart every day? How long will my enemy have the upper hand? How long, Lord? Verse 3, he says, Turn and answer me, O Lord my God. Restore the light to my eyes, or I will die. Don't let my enemies gloat, saying, We have defeated him. Don't let them rejoice at my downfall. Downfall. He's saying, Lord, if you don't step in, you're looking bad. And man, I, I'm feeling the same way. There's so many people on the internet mocking God. Where is your God now? Okay. But notice what David is doing. David is expressing his frustration. And he's inviting God into his situation, into his presence. And then in verse 5, he says, But I trust in your unfailing love. I will rejoice because you have rescued me. In the situation, he, he, he still was in the situation, but he's saying, look, I know that you will step in and you are going to rescue you, me. And so I'm gonna praise you right now. And he says in verse five, six, I will rejoice because you have re rescued me. Verse six, I will sing to the Lord because he has been so good to me during this pandemic. It's easy to focus on the losses that we have right now. And it's okay. Express them. Share them. Find it. Feel it. Share it. Share it to God. But also know that God has also been good to us. He's been good to us in the past. He will be good to us again. And so my thought for you today as we are in this pandemic situation. Find your feeling. Give yourself permission to feel it and share it with God because he can take it. On the cross, Jesus cried out to God, my God, my God, why have you forsaken me? So today, find the feeling, feel it and share it. And like David said, praise him because God will deliver you and I through this situation. And that's my thought as I sit in a church's empty parking lot with my doggie. <laughs> Isn't she cutie? God bless. Bye-bye.